We are often asked if Berkey's adjust the pH of your water or make your water more alkaline. Berkey's are water filters. There's a lot of marketing buzz about making water alkaline, adjusting pH. There are ways that you can do that and we're going to talk about some of them. Uh, but it's very important to understand why you want to make water alkaline in the first place and if your water is already alkaline to start with. Foundational step in any water treatment is to clean the water first. If you want to make the water alkaline, antioxidant, vortex, energized, ionized, great. But that's step two. The first thing you want to do is clean the water and the Berkey's do that, that better than just about any other system you could choose. So now if you want to take that second step, you want to know about where the materials are coming from, the quality of them, and if you even really need them, and what, they're going, what benefits they're going to give to you. Because a lot of people are quite, and marketers are quite vague about what the benefits really are from these. So a lot of people um, who use Berkey's choose to put these stones, they're from Santivia, in the bottom of their Berkey system. We have found they don't make the water alkaline, but they do add minerals to your water. And there are benefits to this. If you choose to do that, many people, as I said, they do put it in the bottom of their, of their Berkey. Uh, I personally wouldn't put these, or any of these things I'm gonna talk about, in metal or plastic. My preference would be to put them in glass. If you do want to make your, al your water alkaline, uh, you could use these pearl beads. They're magnesium oxide and they will significantly raise the pH of your water. And definitely you do not want to put these in the bottom of your Berkey. You put them in glass or ceramic, no metal, no plastic. And they will continue to donate alkalinity, ma magnesium to your water for probably the better, at least six months to a year, depends on the quality of your water, and they're very effective at making water alkaline. Another mineral that you might be interested in using in your water, and quite frankly for me it's the most exciting of these three options, is a stone from Russia called Shungite. Again, you only use this stone in glass or ceramic, you never use it in metal. So you would not put this in the bottom of your Berkey, you would put it in a glass vessel, um, and then fill it with your Berkey water. And if you're using the Shungite, you would use the lid, leave the lid off because it has to breathe. Um, with any of these three minerals, there needs to be dwell time, which means that the stones and the water need to sit together for a period of time so that the stone, the minerals can impart their qualities to the water and then, you know, a number of hours after they've been sitting together, maybe overnight, then you can dispense the water and you get the qualities of the stones that are imparted by the stones into your water. So we will have more information about, the, especially the Shungite and different ways to enhance your water um, in the future on YouTube channels and our website. Stay tuned, this is an area that we're very excited about and it works very well in conjunction with the Berkey because as I'm going to say it again, you really want to clean your water very thoroughly first before you use any of these secondary steps to enhance the quality of your water. Thanks for watching.